Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 2nd of September 2023 and today we're off Bakshi International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus Oldham Athletic in the National League. This of course being a half five kickoff as opposed to the usual three o'clock with the game being live on TNT Sports. So a uh, big day for the club this, uh, important that we make a good all round impression both on and off the pitch. But without further ado, let's get into this and let's head on up to Gateshead. So here I'm in Gateshead and uh, going into this game uh, this evening, uh, Oldham are currently in uh, 20th place which is uh, just the one spot above uh, the uh, relegation zone and uh, I think it's pretty safe to say they are uh, probably the most underperforming team in the division so far based on the calibre of signings that they made over the course of the summer, the, the amount of money that they threw at it and stuff like that. So. Uh, I think it genuinely wouldn't surprise me if uh, if a defeat in this game cost uh, David Unsworth his job. I know a lot of their fans are becoming seriously uh, disillusioned by his style of football and what have you. So, uh, yeah, this is a massive game for them tonight. I, I really would say it's must win or at the very least uh, must not lose. Uh, but as for us, we are currently in 11th place following Monday's goalless draw against... Uh, FC Halifax Town uh, uh, obviously uh, at the time of recording this uh, the 3 o'clock games haven't kicked off yet so uh, the chances are the, the league position for both teams could be uh, a bit different by the time the game actually uh, does start but uh, the, what's obviously most important is uh, what it looks like at, at the end of the game and I uh, think if we do win uh, sh we should still be able to climb up a, a couple of places at least I mean at the end of the day it's still pretty early in the season and the table is uh, fluctuating quite a lot um, and uh, this is a bit this uh, this today has been uh, quite a long time in the making actually because um, because uh, the last time uh, we had a the regular league game at home on the TV was um, was it was in April of 2017 that was against Lincoln who were obviously uh, going for the title at the time so I don't think there were the, the cameras were up here to really watch us to be honest um, you could argue the same today obviously Oldham a massive club have been on the TV already this season but uh, as I alluded to this morning it is massively important that uh, we do um, look to make as good an impression as we possibly can today um, I mean the, it's just our luck really isn't it the, uh, the one time we are on telly and Newcastle are also on telly at the exact same time as us so uh, a bit frustrating in that respect but at the end of the day not everyone watches the Premier League more, like you get a lot of people that are probably just naturally more into the lower league football and look um, if you're say for example you're a Sunderland fan and you're coming away from the stadium and you're looking for some early evening entertainment are you going to watch a Newcastle game are you going to watch a Gateshead game so uh, I think all the same it is uh, important to uh, to uh, get to, to get the word out to people watching at home especially in this region just prove that we, we are a good side and that we can play good football I mean there is still things I think we need to improve on such as uh, all the playing at the back and, uh, and things like that maybe at times just be a little more ruthless in 
the final third. But uh, yeah, it should be a good game this tonight. Uh, I think obviously we'll be going all out for the win. All them need the win, so uh, that should make for something that's hopefully quite entertaining. Well, let's head on down to International Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. So the team's warming up, uh, Oldham getting ready in that half as uh, the away teams always do. I think they're going to be in a change strip of orange this evening potentially. Uh, they might be wrong on that, uh, we'll see when the players go on the tunnel. And um, we're getting ready just over there of course, going to be in our traditional white and black home kit which I am 99% sure I am right about. Um, there's the TV cameras and all the TV uh, pundits over there. Uh, for some reason the Oldham fans are in there instead of in the... Uh, in the East Stand, I don't know what that's all what that's all about. Anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match. Time gate said nil, Oldham Athletic won. We're boring. It is as simple as that. This um, one scanner, we've just got absolutely no urgency whatsoever. We've got absolutely no plan B, and yet somehow, I think if it stays like this, somehow the fans will end up being blamed again, won't we? Um, I mean, it was an absolute howler for their first goal. I mean, fair enough, these things can happen at time to time. I mean, should have done better, but uh, it is what it is. He's made a mistake, and I'm sure he'll. Uh, Sort of do everything he can to make up for it. Uh, we had a little bit of a spell before the goal where it was looking as though we could uh, could have got our nose in front. We we're getting at them, but since then uh, the tempo's just gone. Like we're just and why why do why the ones that are taking the tempo out of the game? Not them. You know, like you think it'd be the other way around when they're one nil up away from home, but uh, we're just again just having a lot of possession, but doing absolutely nothing at all with it. Um, and you know what it is like. I can just tell her on a stand like. 
people aren't enjoying the style of football anymore. They're starting to find it boring. I'm starting to find it boring. Um, so we need a plan B. Like what baffles me is uh, really at the minute we've only got like two out and out strikers in the team, and, and yet they never play together. And uh, surely at some point that's got to be worth trying. Like today probably could be the day for that. Cause I think that could work well if we've also got Denangu who can. Uh, He's also got the strength of Nicolas Rutledge who can maybe run off the back of him. Like it's just, it's just worth trying that. But uh, as I say, it just, just feels as though like we're too set in our ways to actually do anything about it when it actually is a problem. Celebrate given our track record against 10 men. There's no need to knock out of his hand, but there you go. Of added time at the end of this game.
full-time Gateshead 2, Oldham Athletic 2. I uh, think the late equaliser is uh, somewhat glossed over what was an otherwise pretty poor performance, if I'm quite honest. Uh, I think um, when it was at 2-1, uh, we looked as though, like Oldham looked as though they were the ones that were pressing and were looking like you know the more likely to go through one up than we were to get it back to 2-2. Two, two. But uh, Donna Scott, if I was an Oldham fan, I wouldn't be particularly happy with that final result either. I mean, uh, their defending for our 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 second equaliser was absolutely non-existent. They're just totally caught out, uh, totally switched off, and uh, yeah, obviously uh, maybe a little bit untidy in terms of the actual finish, but they all count, don't they? And uh, yeah, then uh, they had the player sent off. Uh, pretty needless, really. I think it's uh, swiped the yellow card out of the referee's hand, and then uh, from there, he's obviously had no option. A bit of a silly thing to do, and uh, from there, uh, we couldn't really make it count, albeit there wasn't really that much time left in the game. Um, but uh, just my main concern at the minute is, uh, is, is literally just um, the... A, a lack of overall tempo. Like uh, we just don't, I say we just don't seem to want to change how we go about it at all. Like no matter what the score and no matter how long's left in the game, and uh, you know, it's like sometimes you need to do a little bit of game management. Has been saying for quite a while. There's times when uh, we, you know, you need to. Uh, there's times when you need to uh, ramp it up a little bit, but also times when you maybe need to slow it down a little bit as well. And uh, we just seem a little bit um, samey same all the time. Like we're like we're um, playing like in the first minute, like we are in the ninety, and a lot of it just doesn't really make sense to be honest. I mean, because obviously when they went down to uh, ten men, there they, they really were there for the take and if we'd had a if been forward a few more times and maybe uh if we just created you know one more chance like it would have felt maybe a little bit better but um yeah overall i think um i mean our fans will maybe have a bit of a mixed reaction to that i'd say but i think all them fans will be really frustrated with that like because the, the, the bottom bottom line to it is they should have won that game and uh, i think yeah, it really does uh, add uh, quite a lot more pressure onto David Unsworth because obviously that's they've still only won one game so far this season and we're now into uh, September. So yeah, they're really lagging behind. Like, this is a team, you've got to remember, were expected to be in and around a title race and yet uh, they're sort of languishing down at the wrong end of the tail. I mean, uh, I think they they will get better as the season goes on. Of course, I do, and I don't think um, they'll be anywhere near the position they're in now. But uh, yeah, I think for for them and for their fans, uh, I, I don't think they'll be over happy with that. I must say, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm thankful that we didn't get beat. But again, yeah, I just think there's a lot we can be doing better. But that is that for this video, and I'll be back on Tuesday night with a tenants versus landlords game actually it is yarman eagles cliff versus billingham town so it's going to be an interesting one that that it'll be it'll be a bit weird to see billingham town as the away team at bedford terrace but looking forward to it until then take care cheers for watching see you later